so new world has been out for quite a long time at this point um from the alpha to the beta to the preview to the beta to the full release it's been out a while i have been covering patch notes and doing patch notes videos for a long time years at this point um i've spent hours creating videos and i've spent you know minutes recording others what i wanted to do um at the moment the game has got to a point where people are not playing anymore people are not playing new world anymore for whatever reason you know whatever reason they have there's not many people playing the game anymore we were looking at the stats today there was around 25 to 30 thousand people which is a good and which is a good number if a lot of us are on you know three or four servers for example but we're spread out you know some servers have 25 players some have you know 1700 players i completely digress what i wanted to do was bring to you guys some of the highlights of what is coming out to new world and why i think you should think about giving it another go so as you can see here there is huge patch notes um this is for the march ptr release uh some of the some of the notable highlights are the blunderbuss um lots of balance changes um with, with p with mainly with pvp but lots of pve balance changes too there's a new expedition which is kind of cool um it's not something that i'm mega excited for the mutations and the current expeditions are great but i really feel that the game needs to have some sort of scoreboard some sort of competitive element to it you know highest team of the week the you know, highest scoring team of the week gets x reward whatever something to give us uh something to return to but something that i'm really really interested in if you guys have followed me for a while you know that the, the things that i am interested in the new world is the large-scale pvp which includes wars and open world pvp so there's lots of combat changes here such as infantry while moving um we're making a highly quality of life improvement you can now move or use an inventory sort of very simple stuff that is going to be really uh, you know a nice change for us there there is a bunch of other kind of smaller quality of life changes lots of balance changes um but we'll get into kind of the one thing that i wanted to bring your attention to um so if you look here i have a trello this is how i manage all the videos that i want to bring out this is how i this is how i kind of live one of one of the videos that i wanted to to, to create was this one here the idea came up weeks ago um but i actually put this on, on my trello board uh on the 18th of feb so a couple of weeks ago what i really wanted to see change was the respawn timers mainly in the wars you know the the big change that's coming we'll talk about in a second is fantastic and i think it's going to be a big game changer but the one idea that i had was that at the moment when when you die you get put into a wave so there's just like you know multiple waves and everyone moves at the same time and everyone respawns at the same time so if i die and i have a 40 second cooldown and you don't die for 30 seconds you now have a 10 second cooldown before you respawn because you you are happening you you will be respawning within my ugh, you will be respawning within my respawn wave so if your whole team i don't know jumps onto the point and you'll die and there's five seconds left of the respawn wave the entire team respawns at the same time and for me it just doesn't make sense i believe the wars should have individual timers so if i die i get a 30 second timer if you die 10 seconds later you still get a 30 second timer and everyone has their own individual timers that will you know make dying uh an important part of the game at the moment it feels like you know i die i tell my teammates that there's 10 seconds left everyone just goes ham in does as much damage as they can if they die it doesn't matter because they they respawn within seconds um so yeah, that's something that I, was, I think could be a big change to the wars as well. Again, nothing that's, you know, I think the current change that they're making on the PTR patch is going to be a big change, but I do think this could, could help with it. So if you if you agree, leave me a comment below. If you agree, leave a like that helps get the video be seen. Um, but the big change that they're bringing out, if you guys don't know about it yet, is hidden here halfway through the, uh, halfway through the patch notes, um, war defenders will no longer be able to respawn on points a b and c they will only respawn inside their fort and they've increased the, the quantity and quality of rewards as will receive from cash is granted from war great stuff um, but this is huge this is such a big change something that uh you know is going to completely change the way wars are done at the moment you know as you guys know if everyone pushes and bunkers on b you kill all the defenders 
The defenders get a respawn wave and they spawn all around the point and you're completely surrounded and it's really difficult. Um, that also creates a lot of, you know, desync, a lot of lag. Um, give them the old spike, <laughs> you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's not good. So this, I think, is such a big change, which I think will, will help with, you know, attacking points. It's going to be a lot more fun. You know, you know the enemy are going to be coming out of the fort and you can prepare for that. Um, and of course, I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to really help with the lag. Something else that's massive is they've removed a lot of collision. So as we can see here, player to player collision, player to player collision uh, removed from open world expeditions and invasion. This is this, you know, sounds small, but this is massive. Now, I'm hoping that this is going to be included within PvP as well. I'm assuming it is. It says player to player collision. Uh, I really hope that when we're fighting now in the open world, that there is zero collision. It's a difficult one, really, I guess, because I love the fact that there's collision in the game. It's very different from what I've learned in the past. I was a big Guild Wars 2 PvPer, um, and it was very much about stacking inside each other, um, using skills together, and all that sort of stuff. Whereas in New World, because you had the collision, it created all these, it created like a big wave of an attack so everyone was like kind of stacked up side to side like like a real battle really it's pretty awesome um but i believe it's it's a big part of why there's so much decent and so much lag the game just can't hack it um we will find when you're in a big big uh environment when there is no collision there's just not much lag um so this is going to be a massive change and i think this could be could be a huge change could be a huge change for for pvp in general um and that's pretty much it boys just wanted to bring those two points um, to your attention i think they're fantastic i really hope that they think about changing the respawn timers as well in the future um but let's see how these changes go over the next couple of weeks i'll probably spend a little bit of time in the ptr checking it out but um it doesn't float my boat i don't have my gear i don't have my player and uh yeah i'm just gonna wait for it to come to live mainly but i'll probably jump in take a look at the blunderbuss it's gonna be super cool um it definitely reminds me of sea of thieves maybe i'll run a musket and uh, a, a blunderbuss give me the sea of thieves vibes <laughs> um as always boys i appreciate being here um if you like the video just leave it a like for me drop a comment say hello and uh i've said this so many stupid times i'm really bad at ending videos insert nice ending here <laughs> see you in the next video